Welcome to Electron Line. Now let's take a look at the base current and how we can control the base current with using an applied voltage and a resistor on the line connecting the base to ground. So let's say we have a 5 volt voltage source. We have a 100 K ohm resistor. How much is the base current? Well, we know that using Ohm's law that the base current I sub B is equal to the voltage applied on the circuit divided by the resistance. But what is the voltage applied to the circuit? Well, we can't forget that there's going to be a voltage drop between the base and the emitter. And when current begins to flow, it'll begin to flow when the voltage, the voltage from the base to the emitter, is equal to about 0.7 volts. So there's a 0.7 volts voltage drop from there to there. And assuming that this is connected to ground as well, so we have a current flow in this direction, we can then say that the voltage driving the current to the base is equal to the 5 volts from the voltage source minus the voltage from the base to the emitter, which is 0.7 volts, divided by the base resistance. So in this case, that's equal to 5 volts minus 0.7 volts, divided by 100 K ohms, or this is equal to 4.3 volts, divided by 100 K ohms. Now that is going to be equal to 43 microamps. Now notice also, besides understanding now how to find the base current, notice that we can control the base currents in two ways. We can control the base current by increasing or decreasing the voltage here, so this could be a variable voltage supply, or we could change the base current by changing the resistance if this was a variable resistor. So if you want to be able to control the base current, you can do it in two ways, controlling the voltage supply or controlling the resistor. Now notice that if this drops below 0.7 volts, there will no longer be any base current at all because then the net voltage around it will be equal to zero. That will not, do so, so the base current will stop when this drops down to about 0.7 volts. And that's how we understand now how the base current can be controlled and how we can calculate the base current on an NPN transistor.